All right, welcome back to Money Movers. A top Apple executive now joining Johnny Ive and Sam Altman's secret AI hardware project. Sound a little spooky. Steve Kobach is back for today's tech check. And Steve, just joking about the spooky part, but is this brain drain? Is it a little scary for Apple? Yeah, not spooky. Let's call it secretive and mysterious. How about that? Because we getting all these reports, Frank, that OpenAI is working on some kind of nebulous hardware project. Now, previous reports already said Johnny Ive, that's, of course, the former chief Apple designer, has been involved from his company called Love Form, From, sorry, Love From. And that's the company he started after he left Apple back in 2019. Now, Bloomberg reporting yesterday, Tang Tan is the departing Apple designer for iPhone and Apple Watches is now joining that same project. Of course, we have no idea what they're working on. It's not really going to be a phone or anything like that. We'll see what they come up with. But thematically, yes, it is interesting. You have the hottest company in Silicon Valley tapping Apple's legendary design team. And lots of changes and departures have been going on at Apple's design group since I've left back in 2019. Loveform was contracted by Apple, in fact, for some design work. But that's over now, and they're free to work on Apple competitors. The design team now is run by COO Jeff Williams, and he has a reputation. He's more like an op operator a la Tim Cook, uh, more than some kind of product visionary. And that says a lot about the state of Apple today. It's a mature market for phones and watches and computers. I've took part in the Vision Pro design, but there's not much brand new on the horizon that I'll need that famous Apple design mojo to you know, really push things forward. So it's uh, kind of interesting to see uh, these people jump to some kind of new project, guys. Speaking of news of the day on AI, New York Times suing Microsoft and OpenAI over copyright, use of copyrighted work. I mean, obviously, this is going to be a bigger and bigger problem unless there's some sort of regulation to, determines, to determine who, who owns or who gets paid for what right. gets into these AI models. What do you think happens here? Yeah, there's some. I was. I've been looking through this case. There's just so much uh, evidence that uh, the New York Times put in their lawsuit. Sarah, they even have side by side comparisons of question. You know, and New York Times article right next to the Chat GPT response. In journalism, it would we would call it plagiarism, and it's pretty damning actually to look at this and see how OpenAI has kind of scraped data from the New York Times and then kind of spitting it out almost word for word in the same way. We have not heard from Microsoft yet. It's it's been a few hours since this lawsuit came out, um, but we're hoping to hear their response pretty soon here. But this also reminds me, Sarah, of like the YouTube days back in 2007 and 8, where you had people uploading, you know, full television episodes of Family yeah. Guy or whatever. And Google and YouTube really had to work through that, make sure they're, um, you know, appropriately paying the copyright owners and things like that. We're kind of seeing the same thing happen here. I would also note, since we were talking about Apple, that there's that New York Times report last week that Apple is going the opposite direction. Instead of asking for forgiveness, they're asking for permission. And whatever AI thing Apple may be working on, they're talking to news groups about paying them for their content. I will also note OpenAI has made some deals like that, too, including with the German publisher Axel Springer and the Associated Press guys. But this one feels like a bellwether case. Oh, I big mean, time. I, know, I know authors and, and movie stars, Sarah Silverman has sued, for instance. Right. As well, this um, is it's going to be a first. big issue. Yeah, this copyright infringement yeah. issue. Thank you, Steve. By Thanks, the way, guys. Massimo, after Steve just came on and said that the U.S. appeals court paused the Apple Watch import ban, Massimo, the company who right. had accused Apple, is trading sharply lower.